Hi guys, so today we are going to go through um, Embarrassing Stories Part 2, and um, I brought my brother along. Can you introduce yourself? I'm Joshua. Joshua? I don't know. I guess, yeah. You don't know your name? I don't know. <laughs> my friends call me Josh, and my family calls me Joshua, so I just like didn't know. We're going to talk about embarrassing stories from my theater past. Um, no, this, I haven't told you this, Joshua. This is, this is for Peter Pan, of course. Do you know this story? Yeah. So, um, it was last summer, and I was auditioning with my auditioning with my friend, and we both went in for the dance audition, and um, <laughs> so they set up, set up set us up into two groups. So my group went in, and then we have to take twenty minutes to just like rehearse it as a group alone without any like creative team. Um, like in the lobby, we just like That's rehearsed so it. Weird. We're rehearsing, and my friend, um, Alana, uh, came back from the washroom and she tripped over, there's like bags all over the ground because that's where we kept all our stuff. <laughs> and we're like trying to dance. Anyway, there was like bags. She tripped over the bag and she like fell to the ground. And I was like, oh, well, less competition for us, <laughs> right, guys? To like all the other auditionees that I didn't know. And yeah, they were like, oh. <gasps> No, and I was like, I, I, no, I, it's, it's okay, it's okay. Like I, I know her, and they're like, that is so rude. <laughs> and so, yeah, they were mad. And I was like, no, no, no it's okay, guys. Like I was just joking. Like this is my friend. Like we're, yeah, like, yeah. I'm literally joking. Friends. Yeah, it was so bad. Anyway, I didn't get the audition. I mean, the role. Okay, next, um, uh, Mary Poppins. So I was in Mary Poppins in grade nine. This was um, at like a community theater. I was like playing the role of Michael and in one scene Michael and Jane have like a nightgown on and so like a few weeks before like the show we went up to get like a costume um fittings and so I went to get my costume fitting and um I they made me put on this nightgown the first one was like too small so they made me put on another one but I didn't know that the second one had like pins stuck in it from I guess like when they like oh, altered it like yes. I don't know anyway so I went to the washroom and like took off all my clothes to put this nightgown on and I didn't realize there was any pins in it until I, um, um, like, put it on my body and there was just, like, blood, like, bleeding from my arms and legs. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> oh, I did feel it when I put it on. I was like, what the heck? I thought it was, like, the material at first, but no. It, yeah, yeah, it was inside. And they're, like, small pins. Anyway, there's, like, a ton of small pins. And, um... Yeah, it was so bad, and so I felt so awkward because I'm like, oh my gosh, these poor, like, ladies are, like, working their butts off, and they're like, I don't want to be like, um, there's, like, pins in my, which I should have done, <laughs> but I was stupid. Yeah, they feel bad. Yeah, I'm like, I'm literally bleeding, like, blood is on the ground in a puddle <laughs> in the washroom, yeah. And I was, like, so then I walked into, um, the costume room to, like, show them, show myself off. I was like, how do you guys, how do you guys like it? And they were like, <laughs> and they were, like oh, I was, like, trying to hide the blood, I was like, yeah. And anyway, and they were like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, oh, what? Like, what? What? Something wrong? It's like a weird fabric? <laughs> and they're like, you're bleeding. And I'm like, oh, oh my gosh. What? Shut up, guys. I'm bleeding. So <laughs> yeah, it was so funny. It was just awkward. <laughs> Joshua, also, if you have an embarrassing story, just tell us. You don't? I feel like it's... Thinking. Yeah. I, I'm really like, I don't like get like, I have flustered moments when I'm yeah. just like, Yeah, I get that. I feel like I block it out. Wait, me? Yeah. Well, I dwell on things, but I just don't let myself think about it. Ah, uh, iced coffee. I was in a production of The Little Mermaid last summer, and I was at the eel, one of the eels, Flotsam, if you guys are wondering. <laughs> no one cares. It was like a production that I, I didn't know people like going into it. So I was like intimidated, and also I was one of the youngest in the cast, I was like, oh my gosh, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? So, um, I, I always felt like flustered sometimes. But, um, anyway, in this particular moment, it was the first time we got into the theater. So the director was, like, talking. She's, like, talking about all the rules and, like, what we had to do. Like, like, congrats, guys, we made it to the theater. Like, it was so awesome. And then I brought an iced coffee from Tim's. Yeah, it was, like, two weeks in. And I was in, like, the backish of the theater. And the theater was slanted. And then so I dropped my iced coffee and, like, shattered everywhere. And I was like, no, 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 no. Like, I was trying to, like, run and cover it up. But it went all the way down, like, the aisles to the front. And the director was like, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like trying to get, like trying to run to the washroom, but like the washroom was like far away. It's, so 
Yeah, it was so embarrassing. And then, like, I had to go and get the mob from, like, the custodian. I, it was, like, a whole process of... Um, the director wasn't that mad. No, no, no. But... She was just like, oh. Yeah, well, well, I felt bad because she was like, afterwards, she was like, no iced coffees, like, no. And I was like, oh. But yeah, so then I had to get the mop and like clean it up while she's still talking. And everyone's just staring at me. <laughs> yeah, people are like, probably like, oh, that's not me, but yeah, it wasn't the best. Uh, oh, second blood of Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins and blood. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, she, no, she, this is so funny. Yeah, in the scene. Josh and I did Mary Poppins at our high school last year. Josh was George, I was Bert. And in the show... Which is like, if you don't know, we're not familiar with Mary Poppins and all that. It's like the dad. The dad, like the kid's dad, like Jane and Michael's dad. Like the yeah. Man. And then Bert, obviously. Yeah, so in, in the musical, they have like a song together. And then, so basically for the last show, Ryan and I were like, I was like, Ryan, we're gonna... Oh yeah, we're gonna kill it. This is the last show? Yeah, I think it was. It was the last show. We only had two. Um, yeah, we only had two shows, so. It was closing night. <laughs> so, we were doing the scene. In the scene. A vase drops. Wait. Oh, we had to pick up the vase. Yeah. The shatterings of the... Vase, but it drops. But it was it's real glass. Symbolic. It's, like, symbolic. But it was, like, real glass that, that Bert had to, like... Bert and George had to pick up during the song. And, like, there's something inside that's all symbolic for George, and it brings him back to childhood, and he becomes less mean. Or, yeah. basically. Yeah. But that's not the point. The point is there's a phase, and it's smashed. Um, yeah, and it's smashed. And then I was picking it up during the scene. Yeah. And then, like, halfway through the scene, I saw, like, there was, like, blood on the ground. I was like, what's that? And then I looked at my hand, like, picking up the glass. I'm like, oh, like, my palm is bleeding completely. Yes. <laughs> it was like, so anyway. And then didn't you do the rest <laughs> of the scene with your hand in your pocket? Yeah, and so, and so my hand was bleeding, because I guess obviously, like, glass went in my hand, and they, like, I don't know, started bleeding. Cut you. Yeah, something cut me. It was, yeah, it was, it was, clay. It was like clay. Yeah. It was just sliced here. Yeah. And so I saw that there's, like, blood, like, a puddle of blood on the floor, like, following me as I walked. I was like, oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So I just, like, put my hand in my pockets the entire song. That was the best time we ever did it. Sure, it I was. I so connected in that moment. Yeah. I'm acting, but I was like, I'm feeling this right now. Yeah, yeah, true. Like, well, it was also like our last moment, like one of our last like high school moments together. So obviously there was like blood in my pocket, like filling up as I sang the song. And then I, um, was... <laughs> this always happens. There was blood on the pants. And then like a week later, I realized I never washed the pants. And there was still a puddle of blood in the pant pocket. So I was auditioning for Henry. I was auditioning for Henry Gables at our community theater. I was like, oh, yes, this is gonna be a great audition. Mm, I'm gonna do so well. Cause I wasn't nervous. I knew everyone. I knew the director. Saying out there from Hunchback, and I Hunchback, yeah. And then um, I was like, okay, well, I'm seeing out there from Hunchback. And then the music director was like, oh, Ryan, this is like, this is my favorite song like ever. And I'm like. Awesome! I'm so glad. Like, well, here I am, 15 year old me singing Hunchback. <laughs> I couldn't sing. Is um doing out there and <laughs> right off the bat, I forgot all my lyrics. Really? Yeah, Josh, I forgot every single lyric. And I was just, I was humming, and I, I was like, ha ha ha. And then, and then I kept singing. I was like, forest. I was like singing like random. Like just random like words like that popped into my head. I was like, oh, ah, 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 forest, just for. I got out there, but like not even not. I was like out there. <laughs> forest, just for. Anyway, I'm sure we'll get back. Well, I love doing embarrassing stories. Yeah, Josh is gonna go driving lessons. Well, with her dad. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? Oh, the church? the church? Oh, nice. Okay. Wait, I want to go. Why? I, it's illegal. Thanks, guys, so much. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching, and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Peace out. Missing someone.